Hello and welcome to Unstone Chambered Cairn in Orkney. We're taking a walk down to the cairn now. This was a burial tomb for a community who lived here around 5,000 years ago. It doesn't stand in isolation, it's part of a much wider network of Neolithic and indeed Bronze Age settlements in this area. It's usually referred to as a stalled cairn, although as we'll find out, it appears to be a hybrid of the two types of burial mound found here in Orkney. You'll notice the mound that covers the tomb is circular and that's one unusual feature because stalled cairns usually have um, a rectangular mound. The tomb itself was excavated in 1884 and 1934. They found um, flint tools along with around 35 pottery bowls of a type specific to this area. They're called Unstonware and they were made long before the potter's wheel ever came to Orkney. Okay, so let's head inside the tomb. First we need to open the gate. I guess that's there to stop sheep or birds getting in. And we don't need to go on hands and knees for this one, we can just crouch down and shuffle our way in. Okay, and as we emerge into the tomb, you can see it's a pretty good dry stone wall construction and it looks great after well, 5,000 years. Okay, we'll look towards the left first of all and here's an end compartment where on the back wall you can see a large slab. Human bones were found in all areas of the tomb during excavation. And now we'll take a look down the central chamber and we can see the tomb in its entirety. The main chamber is subdivided by these large upright stone slabs. They look rather like cattle stalls, hence the term stalled cairn. And now we can go across and see the other end chamber. It's very similar to the one on the left hand side. It has a large stone slab at the back. And again, you can appreciate the lovely dry stone wall construction. However, Unstone has got another strange feature. Very unusual in a stalled cairn, it has a small side chamber. And in here, two skeletons were found. Complete skeletons in a crouched position, which is most unusual for Neolithic interment. On the lintel we can see some graffiti of a stylized bird and possibly a viking rune. And now when we think about the hybrid nature of the tomb's construction and two different types of funerary practice, it suggests the tomb was used in different ways over time. OK, so we'll make our way out of the tomb now. And as we exit, so many questions come to mind. I wonder what sort of ceremonies took place at Unstone 5,000 years ago? Why was there so much pottery here? Were they vessels for the afterlife? Tributes to the ancestors? Or maybe offerings to the spirit world? For sure, great effort went into building this tomb, so it's evident 
it was an important place in Neolithic society. Thanks for joining me for this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!